Hey, what's up? It's Fuel Your Life Friday. Let's go. Hello, hello, beautiful souls. Happy Friday. Today is the first full official day that the state of Florida, where I live, is on a stay-at-home order. We're truly living in unprecedented times with energy like most of us have never experienced in this lifetime anyway. But when it comes to the podcast, we kicked off the year 2020 with an episode featuring numerologist Felicia Bender. When Felicia was on the show on January 1st of this year, we were talking about how the year 2020 is a universal four year. Of course, in numerology, you add up each number in the year and then break it down to a single digit if you have to. So two plus zero plus two plus zero equals four. And in that episode, Felicia said that four, the the energy of the four, is your strictest teacher and that this year will feel more serious. Because it's a four year, that makes tomorrow, April 4th, a 444 day. Of course, April is the fourth month, it's the fourth day, and a universal four year. Anytime we have a number that doubles or triples and repeats, that message and energy are both amplified. Just like homes are built with four corners, I'll say most homes are built with four corners, the four serves as a solid and firm foundation for health, safety, and well being. The spiritual meaning of 444 is often the number of spiritual awakenings which in a time where we have quite literally been forced into a new way of life, I suspect that this is going to activate awakenings within many. The angel number 444 is a sign that you are protected by your angels and you're on the right path. An alternative meaning of 444 is that it's the symbol of imminent financial luck because on most QWERTY keyboards, the 4 key is also the dollar sign key. So 444 four, four literally means dollar, dollar, dollar. Um, it's also important to know that there are four elements of man, mind, spirit, soul, and body. So the 444, four, four, the day 444, four, I should say, is known within the light worker community as a portal day. Portal days help us be closer to the spiritual side or the fifth dimension. We can receive messages more easily and kind of get different downloads from our guides. It's also said that this 444 portal helps kick off the great awakening within humanity. We are creating a new world, one where decisions that were not made with the best interests of the collective will be overturned and a new world order will begin. I thought it was really interesting that in the biblical text, in the fourth verse of the first chapter of Genesis, it says, God divides the light from the darkness. Astrologer Christina Caudill kind of echoed this message when she joined us for the 2020 energy forecast back in January. She said that 2020 is the year when new beginnings start happening, and it really started with the Pluto and Saturn conjunction in the sign of Capricorn, which was the first time that that had happened in that sign since the 1500s. Now on 444, we'll be having a conjunction between Pluto, the planet of decay and destruction, as well as regeneration, and Jupiter. In astrology, Jupiter is the planet of expansion and wisdom of knowledge, and it's a big picture thinking and broadening of horizons. So when I was speaking to Sheryl Turner about the Jupiter and Pluto conjunction and what we should be doing, she said that the conjunction is significant because it's about goals and how people want to be seen and show up in the world. And it's a perfect time to transform your life, family, and business goals. So I'm going to intentionally manifest and journal on the portal day of 444, but I'll also be paying attention to the day and the energy in itself and see what it brings me personally. So I wanted to pull some cards live while I'm on the show. I'll be using my own deck, the Spiritual Seeker, and the Goddess Guidance Oracle deck to see which message comes through to kind of end today's episode with. Go ahead and give these a little shuffle shuffle. I'm going to start with the Spiritual Seeker deck first. I always kind of like to see, ooh, one just flew out. (laughs) So it says, now is a perfect time to be happy. I love that. One more, please. Oh, actually two came out on this one. When I honor the light within, I am limitless. And today I will honor myself by choosing purpose over perfect. I love that because on a day that is very highly high for manifesting and transforming your life, we always have to get deep rooted and gratitude for the life we already have 
in order for true transformation to take place. Okay, let's go over to the guidance, Goddess Guidance Oracle deck. Give these a few shuffles. I don't even know if you guys can hear me shuffling, <laughs> shuffling them, but oh, I am. Oh, interesting. So we said the four is all about home and foundation and that Shereel had echoed the message that there's be transformation in the home and business. Well, the card that came out is the card Vesta and Vesta is the goddess of the home. So it says, the message on the card says, your household situation is improving either through a move or healthy change in the occupants. Mm, I love that our oracle cards align with today's message, which just tells me that this is definitely where our energy and focus should be right now. I'm looking forward to the energy and seeing what it brings me. I hope you are too. If you enjoyed today's episode, share it with a friend and be sure to leave a five-star rating review on Apple Podcasts. I'll see you back here next week for another episode, but until then, remember, every level of life is an opportunity to grow. Be well, my friend.